here we go. So, this video is going to glow. Show. It's going to show what I have to say here. It's, uh, this video wouldn't have happened without Angie, which moon. So shout out to Angie. Shout out to Danny. Shout out to Sky Hoppy, Junie, and all y'all. Esoteric Dragon. I've been feeling you, motherfucker. <laughs> and uh, kudos, kudos to you, dude. Shout out to Big Nicks. Because uh, the bear has been with me for, for, for a good time. Probably since the first interaction that I had with Big Nicks. And I just want to go into this uh, little, little path of memory lane. Um, the first interaction I had with Big Nicks was in a <laughs> uh, a live stream with Torrin's Garden. And Torrin was just fucking doing his crazy shit that he fucking does. Because he, he's the next level fucking being. And uh, he was not paying attention any to the chat. And, and me and Nyx were just like, oh hey, here we are. We find ourselves together in this weird time period. And we just had a nice little fucking chat about shit. And that's that's kind of when we first connected. And he was a cool motherfucker. Like, it, like immediately, I'm like, this is a cool motherfucker. So yeah, I'm, I'm, once again, I'm kind of surprised I still have a voice. To me, it sounds like I have about uh, mm, two-thirds of a voice. <laughs> but uh, that's because I've been fucking singing quite a bit. Vibrating quite a bit. Relating and navigating the inner realms quite a bit still still trying to decide what is going to be most beneficial what, what is needed and I mean I just I keep having to take you know my my myself out of the picture my ego out of the picture and just go with uh, the flow of it and Ah, it's just, it, it's just, it's so fucking deep to go into this kind of shit. To where you meld into the all, and then it's like a question of, you know, who am I or what am I, and, uh, am I just a part? What part do I have to play in this, uh? Because once you really release into like the flow of the love, it's just you're taken along with it, and it, you you question eventually, you know. What it is you're actually doing, or if you are even actually doing anything, it, you you just reevaluate what you really are like the uh, whole the whole thing of I am and so uh with, with this talk here we're going to get into why straw are so important why it is so important to 
actively engage death to have a conscious death experience or a near death experience or it's just awareness people it's consciousness to to dissolve your barriers and your boundaries so that you can dive back down deep into what you really are past the illusions and the scripts the belief structures that have been set up to tell you what is what is what what your limits are what boundary what boundaries there are to consciousness because that's that's up to fucking you dude and if if you want to test those limits to the end and sometimes you know i'm speaking out here <laughs> yeah and what to say. We out here is what to say. Sometimes some of us test the limits up until the edge and uh, we, we just finally fucking release. And that's not a good or bad thing. There's no such thing. It's not a, a life or death thing. Really, it's just a transition thing. It's just an, uh, an experience thing. And eventually, we'll fucking get the hang of it. <laughs> we are right now, and more and more of us. But, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of this happening. And there already is. There, there already is a lot of this happening. What I'm about to show here. This is your boy activation codes. Check this guy out. He, he's fucking legit as shit. We getting into uh, the tendencies, the mentalities to uh, peace out. Hey, Aloha once again, my friends. Coming the form of life, physical made visible. Taking lashes of ridicule, I stand as an individual. To buy a lot more excited about the prospect of death, yet delighted to serve as an example, champion of two sided reason, convicted of treason by the temple of God, even as my scalp palpitates beneath vibrating brains, mm. days pass through conscious thoughts of righteousness. Mmm, fuck. Suicide, all tendencies. <laughs> Suicidal tendencies. There it is. Basically. There it is. Uh. Let's just rock this tune for a second. Fuck yeah, my dude. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. That's what you gotta do, man. Mm. So. Alright, here we go. There's an epidemic of psychological issues happening in our world. You can see this on your screens. The whole world is uh, awakening. So like, uh, this is something that this, this goes back back into the as with and so without. This is a feeling thing. Like, uh, we've been feeling this shit coming, people. Um, maybe we haven't been dealing with it like we, like we probably should have been. But, I mean, that's, that's because of the indoctrination. The, uh, quote-unquote education is, system is an indoctrination system to keep you from realizing what is inside of you. So, the more and more people are tapping into these uh, immense feelings, guess what? They're indoctrinated as fuck. And uh, if they don't, if they haven't dealt with it on like deep levels, then like it's gonna, it's gonna stick with them. Even into like, you know, uh, middle age or, or whatever. Uh, it's gonna stay in there, even, even whatever fucking age.
and uh, the people aren't going to have the avenues and the pathways and the uh, navigation systems, the uh, They don't. They don't have anyone to to show them to help them back into the inner standings that's going on to to really integrate and transmute what they're going through because a lot of people are going through a lot of fucking shit because they're starting to feel again and uh, they've been so used to being numbed up and dumbed down. That these feelings are too much. And so they, they don't know what to do. And so they. Peace out. As in. They. They. Uh, cut it off. In uh, like a very. Acute way. And. It can take the form of many different ways. And you know. People can. Can do so where they taste it and then they have uh, experiences and then maybe they'll repeat it and try and try or maybe they'll learn from it. But, uh, you know, before I go too deep into this, um... We have reached the time where more people are waking up and more people are peacing out because they are waking up. And before you decide to fucking judge or uh, try to really understand at all what anyone is going through, Try to uh, take a look at the totality of that person or whatever the fuck you're trying to understand. If it's another being, you have to take everything into account so you like, realize that you probably don't know very much at fucking all about the person or what they felt they were going through. To influence them and have them think that they need to feel a certain way or what they were engaging in life. Even even if you're, you know, uh, really close to someone, a lot of times we don't really know what their inner landscape is like. And a lot of times they don't really know what it's like because they're just uh, experiencing it and kind of like dodging it or bouncing on the surface instead of like, you know, instead of like being a pebble that bounces upon the lake, stilling that, that pebble and letting it sink finally into the depths and feeling what needs to be released. And it, it's process and it's not fucking necessarily <laughs> at all easy. An awakening is going to uh, manifest in different ways depending on where people are. Yeah. But I want to specifically talk about suicidal tendencies and what that means because I think there's a lot of confusion about what it means. Confusion. Hmm. And usually it's going to mean one of two things. And then he's going to go into the, uh, what he thinks it means. Uh, he said one of two things, but then. He kind of corrects himself in that, you know, it could be so many different things. 
confusion. So the confusion always lies within the uh, the belief, the belief, um, in thinking um, that you know what it's like on the inside. Whenever you're always only on the outside looking in, because you don't, you don't fucking know shit. You don't fucking know shit until you feel it, and then you're on the inside. And then you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and, and that's just how it is. As within, so without. It, it starts within first. Okay? We're all out here indoctrinated trying to understand shit from the outside looking in, and that's not how this shit works, okay? And this is part of the separation and indoctrination. The disconnect of feeling again, feeling into it, even if it's super fucking painful, the most painful thing you've ever experienced in your life. You gotta feel into it in order to transmute it, understand what really is going on. Even if there's other parties involved or other uh, influences involved, really feeling into it is going to bring clarity on what those other parties were feeling, why they chose to act the way they did, why ultimately, why you cho chose to respond in the way you did. And the whole point of this is to realize the power of choice that we have to choose where we understand how we respond to the things. And then ultimately releasing the, the, the need to control and just allowing the flow to happen. And once we really allow this flow to happen, we go back into the river of love. And, and once you're there, it's just... You're there. Like You, you see things for um, the purest essences of, of what it is with, with clarity. You don't, you don't really need to question anything uh, that, all that much anymore because uh, within that question, like you have, <laughs> if you're swimming in love, like you, you know the answer within the question. The question is the answer. Yes, this is like uh, feeling into your intuition, but it, it's not so much like super contemplating it like oh okay so uh i gotta do this and gotta do that uh i, I gotta feel into uh okay my, my feelings telling me this no that, that's not it dude then you're popping out of the feeling and going back outside trying to look into what that understanding is telling you nope you've got to be on the inside feeling where you're being directed and guided towards and just going and flowing with that. Things. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing that it usually means, or could mean, I guess. Exactly. Is that you feel that you have messed your life up so badly that you basically want out. And so it's an escape mechanism. The other thing, and this is more, especially in our current present time of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, suicidal tendencies are your soul's way 
of trying to come back online. Twenty o two is when I put when I stopped that. Dude, that's fucking beautiful. Thank you for saying that. Uh, cause I mean, you can talk about this shit, and, and you know, it, it can seem like you know what you're talking about. Um, you know, being on the outside and peering in, but whenever you say shit like that, that. That's what lets a person know that you you fucking know the feeling. So that's goddamn beautiful. And anyone that's felt anything like this and who has uh, really done inner work and uh, transmuted, like in, for a lot of us, like pretty much anyone that's going to be listening to this, uh, we went through this on a very, very fucking early age. That's not necessarily to say that we didn't, you know, go through it later on. Because I know I did. And I know why, <laughs> you know, I, I was uh, distracted. And uh, I kept distracting myself with outside things. And not paying attention to what was going on within. And... <laughs> Everyone has their own process, so uh, a lot of times we we feel very deeply inside. We go through things where we feel feel very deeply, but then we also feel like the, the collective pain. Um, maybe not so clearly, but but it's still a felt connection. And uh, a lot of times, people just don't know how to handle that. They they don't know what to do with that. They don't necessarily understand and understand what they're feeling collectively. And so uh, it, it builds up and it collects. And it uh, we, we, we are, have been taught to create these barriers, these um, layers upon layers of shit. And so that uh, we, we just feel like we, we are pressured or... Uh, we have all this weight upon us to uh, act a certain way or to uh, behave a certain way, to speak a certain way, to uh, invest our energy and time and money in a certain way. And ultimately, you know, people can, can have a breaking point and quote unquote go postal. Whether that be, uh, Expressed without, you know, externally or internally. You know, a lot of times people got to have some kind of a breaking point. And, and uh, you know, we'll get, we'll get into that here in a minute. <laughs> With the shamanics and meditation. And that's, that's the whole fucking point of this. To integrate this shit. Our souls are yearning to come back to the forefront. Hmm. But what is in front of that and, and hindering that is the ego self. And, you know, there, there's a lot of, uh, especially when, when you start waking up, you know, we, we hear about dissolving the ego or maybe even, maybe even, uh, eradicating the ego, but then, you know, we also hear about, uh, you know, no, we need the ego, we need to utilize the ego, um, tame the ego. But really, um, what it comes, what it comes down to is, uh, realizing that this word ego, this persona, this conception of ego is another layer of the bullshit to dissect what you are into another category, another uh, aspect of yourself. Right? That's just uh, being on the outside looking into something. So it's choice, choosing 
What is ego but choice, right? Choosing where to navigate. Is that not the purest definition of ego? Choosing where to engage. Which is just an illusion in a world of illusion. Exactly. It's another bad idea <laughs> that we were presented with and made to believe was real. So we have a lot of things in this realm that are, we're presented with mm. as real and factual. When in true fact, they're illusions, distortions, distortions, and misinterpretations. Exactly. So, immediately when there's suicidal tendencies or attempted suicides mm. by people, the people around them, in their ignorance, They want to help, and I, that part's not ignorant. Wanting to help's not ignorant, but the method exactly. that is the method of help is not necessarily is true help because the people wanting to help don't know what help is, where and why the suicidal tendencies are yes. coming up. Yes, outside looking in because they, they don't get it are quite possibly and very likely still living and existing. <laughs> as their either ego self or their lower self. Yeah, and like you know, yeah, not even ego self, it's just the self that is pure indoctrination. Like they, they don't really know themselves at all. And uh a lot of times because of these traumas that we have that, that are, you know, so deeply set within us. Like you know we talk about, you know, the the child within and like always being of a child like mind state even is the kind of the best way to go into an experience with a child like mind state as in have it to be have it fresh and so you have an authentic experience, authentic reaction. But we have to integrate this this uh the the child that that we were and, and the potential traumas and uh things that we we went through we have to uh deal with those things and integrate them and so that we can release them because ultimately people you know are raised up into ignoring everything and so they don't understand why they keep going through these repeat loop cycles because that inner child has not been dealt with yet and understood and healed. So it keeps repeating your cycles because there's things that you need to deal with within. This is why we keep going through a similar repeat experiences in life. Because there's things that we have not bring, brought the light of awareness onto yet. And I'm seeing this like day in and day out in my personal experience. In my personal experience also in this town that I'm in, um, there's also has, has been a lot of uh, suicides. At least publicly displayed on the media because, you know, anytime there's something negative that happens or something traumatic, that's what the media is there for, to reinforce that trauma. So fuck you, media. You need a fucking dick and you're, you're being transmuted and uh, it's, you, you don't even understand the control structure, so that's shifting. Uh, the fucking uh, boss at the top has has fucking plummeted down because he's
there's no use anymore. So, uh, now there's going to be new, new fucking top dogs. And so we're going to, we're going to be seeing new transitions and transmutations of the reality that you've been used to you know, integrating or seeing. Not integrating. But now you're going to be feeling it on a deeper level. So yeah, um, on the outside looking in, um, we we may think we're clever, or or uh, people may think that they're clever, and they th they think that they can figure things out, but uh, really, like you have no fucking idea once you until you really get inside, feel what someone else is feeling, like feel what. Uh, these experiences are like um, the, the lowest of the lows and then also the highest of the highs and not necessarily wanting to stay super high and then peering down upon the lows and and you know thinking that we we know it you can't just stay high and look down at the low and think that you know, you have to go back down into the underworld. And uh, look up into the higher realms. And then meet it in the middle of this is what it's meant to be a fucking human. And a woman. And what it is meant to be on this plane. Sophia. The middle ground, the Midgard. It's the monad in the center point, the eye of the storm. That that is you. That is your emotions. So yeah, I'll probably end it there, um, because otherwise I'll just go too deep into uh, other experiences. I'll end it with this, I'll end it with a card that I drew, and uh, this goes into experiential wisdom, gnosis. Swimming within the river of love and life and releasing into the flow. And we're clinky dink. I've been, uh, Feeding my cat salmon lately with a mix of, let's see, what, um, maybe a little bit of culture, kombucha, maybe a little bit of my own saliva, maybe a little bit of, uh, ginger, turmeric, dill, cilantro. Let me get the positioning. Salmon. Magic. Intuition. Wisdom. The appearance of the salmon card invites you to develop your innate magic and wisdom. Salmon are considered magical creatures. 
because they can swim in both salt and fresh water. Celtic mythology especially valued these fish as the giver of wisdom. One popular tale recounts how the salmon gained wisdom after eating several hazelnuts. Hmm. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Which had fallen into a stream. Since hazel branches are considered especially magical, their branches were revered for wizards. Wizards of Wands tradition claimed that whoever eats the salmon The salmon of wisdom <laughs> would gain these powers for themselves. Okay, come on, light. Work with me. There we go. In the Pacific Northwest, the salmon is especially valued as a major source of food. The Haida people tell of a boy who transformed into a salmon after he wasn't sufficiently respectful of the fish. In time, his sojourn with the salmon, with the salmon people, gained him the ability to heal others. Yeah. And that's and that's the uh, essence and the energy I get whenever I'm around uh, fish smells, fish essences, fishy. Uh, <laughs> interactions. The ability to uh, to heal and to feel into it. What that feels like, and we can directly engage this healing with the feeling, and it can take form in many different uh, methods and ways, uh, with heat or with uh, even cold with um, a tingling sensation, a numbing sensation, a burning sens sensation even, itching. And we, we can tap into this, uh, into the, in the mind, we can bring it forth into reality. By thinking about it, feeling it, ex feeling what the experience would be like is the same thing as experiencing it and bringing it forth. That's manifestation 101. <laughs> So yeah, I'll end it with that. Um, I 
it's not it's not always easy to swim in the river uh whenever we have things that have caught us up for so long that uh we don't realize that they're there and then when they surface you know we don't realize we don't know how to deal with it we uh seek for an escape and that can take the form of you know a certain kind of uh you know chemicals or drugs alcohol or you know going to the extreme of you know trying to uh peace out but uh yeah just to end this like don't think that you know what the fuck it it feels like for someone that 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 does decide to peace out unless you've been there yourself because i see all these people on the outside looking in like oh oh how could how could they do that oh what a fucking coward but like they, they don't have any kind of idea like, the depth the level uh, of the love that these people experience and what comes with that depth of love it comes a depth of all the fucking other shit on the other spectrum so before you place judgment go there yourself cause you're probably not gonna come out of it unscathed if, if you just have been used to being on the outside looking in cause once you get into this shit you enter the fucking real deal so you better learn how to fucking transmute this shit and alchemize or maybe your demise with, with your persona cause there's, there's it's all just fucking energy you just release back into the fucking flow Realize the power of your intentions and your emotions, your your feelings. Realize that your feelings bring about your manifestations, bring about what you decide and choose to make real for you. It all starts with your feelings. So this is the purpose of shamanics in dealing with and going into the plant spirit medicines to help us show what is within what we have been ignoring and a lot of times we don't realize we've been ignoring it so these things if we're brave enough to integrate they, they help us show what we need to integrate what we have been ignoring The shaman it's not necessarily a person that that you know does anything necessarily. It's just a person that holds space and allows you to go deep. And if you want or have the need to go deeper, they can help you navigate into that and then and then let go because the person needs to do the shit themselves. This is a you know. What it really means to be a shaman is just to hold space to aid and help when is needed but also knowing when to back the fuck off and let the person do what they need to do any kind of healer this is what it's about see ya Go within before you, before you decide to uh, 
look at others and try to think that you know what they have been through because you because you probably really fucking don't so go on the inside first peace